previously on Hilltopper and Pilgrim. We've been taking kind of a time off of being departed guardians. And my friend knew where to find me. Look, let's round up everybody. Yeah. I've been wanting you guys to come back to my old estate. I have something kind of important to talk to you about. Um, and I have a friend who can take care of us while we're there. So I'll have him introduce himself. Um, so Silka, you get your last 60 seconds of, <laughs> of stuff done. Oh my God. <laughs> And you get down to the front gates where you see a whole slew of new people waiting and ready to meet you. In Orion's message, he said, Hello, good people of no wishing. It is I, Orion Stahl, Lord of the North and the leader of the free world. This message goes out to all of you to inform you with great relief that the war is over. This long-standing feud between the calling hornets and the good creatures of the galley has finished. Continue with your lives, your duties, and your festivities. And rest assured, you are safe under House Stahl. Language that only Emmy can read. It said... Uh, that was Winter Wolf, wasn't it? Yes. Be wary of House Stahl and protect the orc child at all cost. Who is your friend Nyx? And Nyx is walking out and she like looks really, really mad. And she goes, Droopy, I told you not to leave. I know you wanted to go, but they would be fine. We were in charge of protecting everything here. I've done more adventuring than you, Nyx. And she goes, look, Quentin's already gotten mad at me since you guys have been gone. I'm trying not to screw up again, and it's going to be all your fault if I do. And I, all I've just wanted is have a friend. And Droopy goes, well, I can be your friend. And he goes, well, why are we all fighting? Why can't we all be friends? We don't need to control anyone. That's not the way to make friends. all are in the short marsh mansion in the silvered earth uh province what, of no wishing what's it look like in there you know like is this a mansion that's like like castle ryan like. johnson's like knives out castlevania gothic is it is it just a mansion with a bunch of like cool decor i mean both ben, of you could do you it. do you want to describe it i have some notes oh, but shit. if you'd like to you know what i really don't want to say something that's wrong and hurt the story i guess there, it really could happen there are no wrong answers okay well i I'll, mean you're the one who's been in the mansions well let me give okay this is kind of i'll give some <clears> basic <throat> it can't be wrong preliminary mm -hmm. uh sort of what i saw it as okay no actually you know what scott you do this because you're you're, the, you're this is not my mansion okay this okay this is your world that's fair um so you guys have been introduced um to silka you guys have been shown to the different rooms um in the mansion so the the mansion is a multi-level building that is longer than it is tall um so there are a couple stories to it but it is um a large estate. Um, the entire estate is a thousand acres. It's Ooh. huge. Um, all run by Silka by himself. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, it is, I would say close to like contemporary, like you did point out knives out by Ryan Johnson. Um, yeah, sort of that kind of clue like mansion, which was actually the inspiration for the, uh, Gino Sphinx castle. Mm -hmm. Every single room in that building was clue. Um, nice. just, oh. just as a fun little, some people were like, I knew that Scott. And I'd be like, I know, but they didn't because <laughs> there's cut in episodes where, you, where Emmy fought a big plant in the conservatory. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't catch that. But yeah, so it's, it's just <laughs> nice. a Royal noble, um, uh, mansion. It has a couple new, um, modifications to it. So, um, as no wishing has become more of a technologically advanced fantasy world. Um, this place does have electricity. Um, there are, you know, little lanterns and lights along the walls that are powered by, um, not fire by electricity. Where can we charge our call class? Do you have a charger? What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> it's all in the sign in binder. <laughs> God. <laughs> Um, the biggest thing that you see is adorning the walls so of the mansion, um, are pictures and art and a, a multitude of different things. Uh, 
<laughs> You're making fun of me? No, no, no. <laughs> but there are tons of different items and weapons. Um, some even rooms that you've seen as you guys have put up your stuff in like your own respective bedrooms. Um, there are rooms just dedicated to different types of weapons. Um, Emmy and Jack and yeah, Silka. I need everybody to make a a roll with their D10. Actually, uh, okay, of course. Wasted all this time priming the D20. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Just to help me out. I have, I have a four. Okay. Four. Four. Okay, come on. <laughs> is that what are the odds? Oh, it's a three. It is a three. It's a three. The odds we're, was we're three. That. Yeah, we're keeping. See, that. there you That's go. That's not bad. Um, I got a one. I threw it off the table. Okay. Um, so as you guys are looking around at the different weapons and you're getting this kind of tour of the mansion, um, Jack, you find a particular amulet that looks interesting to you. Hmm. Um, I snatch it without anyone noticing. Oh, well, you have to make a stealth check. Okay. (laughs) He's starting already. That's a 13. Um, Silka, make a perception or an investigation roll with uh, the d20 with the d20 okay. yes investigation i think it's actually one of okay oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. oh no this particular yeah. uh pan we're using for our dice is really bringing out the single digits today so so that is a uh five um so i i don't think you're high enough to even see not physically but like the dice number is high enough to catch uh jack doing this oh because he's like a stealth god mm-hmm. yeah oh, that's cool that's um good. Was good. <laughs> so yeah, Jack, you have snagged an amulet. You have snagged um, the amulet of proof against detection and location. Oh, the amulet of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Oh, cool. Um, Emmy, what was your number? Four. Um, Emmy, there's a suit of armor that just catches your eye. You just think it looks really cool. Um, do you do anything with it, or you just kind of like look? No. What am I gonna do? So it's armor which is probably too big for me. Well it's the um <laughs> And three feet tall. Well as you as you step <laughs> as you step close to it, it is the size of a humanoid, but when you step close it shrinks in size so that um the little mannequin that it was on um goes to where it would it would be for your size. Oh um mm-hmm. And it is an armor of resistance, and so it has a resistance resistance to a multitude of different things. Uh Soka, what was your number? It was very low. It was three. It was three, yes. It was three. Um, yeah, so as you're... Um, I would assume that you kind of are familiar with these different items. Next to the armor of resistance, um, you see a slight smudge on a animated shield. Oh, so my God. <laughs> a the, the animated shield is a small little, like, brass um, crest in the middle, and then are surrounding it is sort of, like, this opaque, clear like water that kind of like forms around it um do i can i go clean the smudge yes you can go clean the smudge hey i'm sorry guys one moment <clears throat> while he's doing this can i look around again um uh, yeah sure we're all basically together right yeah in this sort of walking in mm-hmm. thing and so Quentin, as uh, Soka is frantically um, <laughs> cleaning this item, uh, Quentin says, yes, yeah, so my, my family was real big as uh, treasure hunters. They really enjoyed collecting and using a multitude of different items. Um, Zilka, you got a few, don't you? Uh, some that you've made, some that you have kind of just acquired. Yes, absolutely. Who could forget? To begin with, oh God! <laughs> and Silka drops all of his. Oh items. no! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> my uh, lantern of revealing the first gift ever given to me by my dear friend Quentin. And that is true. Yes, and my goggles—you probably no- noticed them precariously, not precarious, strapped to my head, ready at all times. Wish I had some myself. Very cool. Well, uh. The, I should. I'll find you an extra pair if I can find them. Oh, thanks. You really quit. There might be some lying around, and my wand of magic detection, so I can snuff out all that evil. E- evil. You. You. You talk evil. You. You've been. You've been very S- against evil. Is there? Wh- what exactly is it that you do, Soka? Here well, at the mansion. I protect the house in every way. I am its guardian, its eternal sunlight in an abyss of darkness. I am the light. I am the crusader. 
So. Droopy starts mm. clapping. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Ooh. So, just keep it clean mostly. <laughs> okay, okay. So, it. in other yeah. words, uh, y'all don't touch nothing. Don't yes. touch. Don't, 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 Droopy goes, please, got it. Refrain, except for Mr. Quinton may touch whatever he wants because it's his, it's his ancestral right. But please, and I love you all, but have some respect for the past. Please. Jack. Yeah, gotcha. Are you? Yes. Don't touch. I have not touched a thing. No awesome. one knows that Jack has stolen. Something. Yeah, and I'm cool because, and I hadn't seen it. I no, haven't. I hadn't. Seen I haven't it. touched no, no. a thing. So, I've tucked I it away. Him. I put it. I yeah. put it on. I've equipped but the I'm amulet. Like, I'm looking at him going, "Don't touch." Yeah, and I, I, I know, and I'm tucking it under my <laughs> layers. Um, well, so, uh, oh, Jack, you said you wanted to look at another item. Oh yeah, well, just that. roll roll the the d10 again. I got eight. Oh dear. This okay. Can't, this can't end well. Well, I'm actually kind of glad you got this one. Um, gone. So you, <laughs> as as you you're all looking at the multitude of different items because I mean it is hundreds and hundreds of stuff. Like a museum almost. Oh yes. yeah, no, I'm sweating. Yes. Like I mean, there's me trying to keep cool, having actually stolen something for sure, but I'm sweating. This place is, I mean, Zigabeth's castle had. Had bejewelry, mm-hmm. right? Like right. they had rhinestones, right? Right. Okay, that one was is, blingy. Yeah, and worthless, right? This is yeah, costume jewelry. There are some placards with like descriptions, like a museum. It's uh-huh. incredible. So Quentin says, "Hey, um, you know, it's been a long day. Let's uh, get something." Did to eat. you just burp? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I'm saying that I'm you know hungry, but uh, I could always eat again. He needs more porridge because his teeth hurt sometimes. Hey, I'm not that old, but if you give me Astrid a good berry, I'd be me. really ha- happy. Oh yeah, sure. And he looks at Astrid. And he goes, "Don't, don't tell him things." And she goes, "I'm sorry." <laughs> I hand him my second good berry of the day. Yes. Um, <laughs> Which one would you like? And surprise me, raspberry. <laughs> um, so you guys are making your way towards the dining hall and the kitchen. Um, and Jack, you, as everybody, you're kind of leading, trailing behind a little bit. You see in one of the hallways, a large, what looks like a telescope, like held up on, on the wall. Uh, but in front of it has, it's a fake lion, but it's a big lion head attached to it. And when you look at it, it's more of a large tube. It is a horn of blasting. Oh, a horn of blasting. Yeah. So you see it. Um, Does it fit in my bag of holding? It would fit in your bag of holding. Put it in. Well, you got to roll for it. All right. Oh, I mean, it's Lord. already gone. Right? Oh, Lord. God, what is up? That's a 21. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's for stealth, right? Uh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you get it. <laughs> Woo. Can you even use it? <laughs> you get it. God, I, I, I'd say that this, this, this steel... Here was a, a good one. We're so good that I also unscrewed the placard that was next wow. to it describing it. So there's no games in trying to figure out what this is. Yep. I, I also have a oh little, I'm going to assume this is like covered in gold because it can't just be solid gold. Yeah. Um, but that's that's still enough to sell. So so, yeah. so you're like raiding your thefts? Uh, yeah, I mean, I sort of feel bad about it, but you know, what, what's Quentin going to do? Hit me with this cane? It's fun. Um, I, I don't know you too well either. Yes. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot you could do, but uh, you know, well, what are you, so sure you going to do? That. I had a target number in my brain and I'm like, I'm not going to let Tristan get it. He has to get a 20 or higher. And he got it. Suppose that wasn't oh. the cards. <laughs> Jack, you, you tuck away your theft into your bag and join back up with the group. Time passes a little bit, um, and now we're in sort of late evening, early dinner, the twilight era. Woo, that's um, my time. That's in the evening. Um, Emmy grows stronger in twilight. Whoa. Whoa. Um, and you are all at a large dining table eating food. Uh, an assortment of different things. Uh, Silka, you've kept the kitchen relatively well stocked. Um, but how are his cooking skills on tonight's episode? Excuse of- me. My f- Family 
is ancestrally at their cheese merchants. It so. is true. So yeah, he has good cooking skills. Oh. Um, I think that would be a good time to. Would that be under like? Is I that for, a specialized? I thing? forget what it's not. Um, a dexterity. Yeah, let's do dexterity because it's Which not survival. This is zero, zero <laughs> for him. Um, but if he's proficient at it, it shouldn't be zero. Well, yeah, it, it should be, be intelligence then, like because his intelligence is very high. Oh yeah, that could work because yeah. you have like a culinary mind. Yeah, a keen mind. As yes. a keen yeah. Mind. Um, uh, make a roll. Make a roll for intelligence. Pacha. Okay, what's the deal? <laughs> it's a five plus. Oh, that's an eight. Three, it's an eight. It's a solid eight. Uh, so the sixty seconds really made a difference, huh? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, so okay, you um, you make a a good set of meal, uh, but you basically make it for yourself instead of everybody else because yeah, you're just so, so used, used to, to <laughs> only cooking for myself. Like, do you guys want some? Oh, oh. Um, I'm sorry. Did yeah. you? I, I completely. How embarrassing. Yeah. Here, let you can have a mozzarella stick. Thank you. And uh, you can have a mozzarella stick. Okay. Um, if you want more, yes, there's some in the in the kitchen, in the freezer. But um, that's hey, Nix, just go ahead and tell Droopy to grab the rations from the back of the cart. Um, yeah, and that Droopy, sounds great. Droopy goes, "Will do," and Droopy walks outside. <laughs> uh, so you guys start to get food to eat. You have uh, mozzarella sticks offered to you, which is Not always great. Hot appetizer. Um, yeah. What a good night. Yeah, I take a bite and pass it on. <laughs> How was the cheese? Oh. Was it good? Yeah, it, it's it, chewy. I mean, what do you call it? Uh, stringy. Yeah. Stringy. There's Whoa. actually mm. um, tension Food. is what we measure. Yes. Oh, yes. wonderful it's tension. Quite nice. So Soka's family, um, the, the Salsals, are actually like well versed cheese merchants oh, and boy. they specialize in mozzarella. <laughs> so <laughs> like even though Emmy might have some like hesitation to it, it is actually it's very actually good. It's pretty good, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I just never eat, um, I never eat cheese, so this is this is always a good good find for me. Uh, but you guys have some nice just time to talk, get to know each other. I, I would say you guys catch up a little bit on some of the adventures that you've had that to to tell to Silka so that he's more aware of like what you guys have gone through. Um, Silka, tell us more about yourself. What exactly is it that you do besides you know? The the mansion, all the stuff you mentioned earlier. What? Oh well, um, because you know you could call me Ranger. You could call me a little roguey, little you know? little roguey. Yeah, that's that's uh my um I believe they're calling the genre hip hop, and it's uh popping out in Sixport. And Nick says I'm gonna call you little roguey from now on. You're oh so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, little roguey, um, mostly just taking care of the house. I don't want to really bore you with the. The many, 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 many details involved right. with it. I, I mean, um, I, I'm not saying that you haven't been in a battle or anything. You, you oh, seem like you've seen your share. Them. No, I've seen tons, many, many battles. So, what exactly is it um, that you do out there in well, the field or in the field? Um, in, you know, like what are your strengths? What, what are your, what are your strengths? My strengths. Yeah. Well, I want to first say that I'm so humbled. That such strong adventures, magnificent and legendary people would stoop to asking me about myself. Well, you know, we're, we're all you, friends. We kind of have to, we don't stoop, <laughs> you have to, because you're very tall. Oh, well, I mean, I'm probably a round average, but I appreciate the comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my greatest strengths would most likely be my tenacity. Um, so like, is that a sword or like, no, it's, I can concentrate for long hours at a time. Oh, I cannot. <laughs> no, it's, it's like his best. mental willpower. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow. That's yes. actually kind of oh, yeah, really it. good. We've been missing out on that in this group. I actually, well, per, I've got, um, a certain medical condition actually known as keen mind. Um, I can remember small minuscule details. Oh, any detail. I know how many seconds have passed since you've walked in the door. <laughs> how wow. many? 556. Wow. That's um that's I still quite decreased small the no I decreased the number because I didn't want to overwhelm you. Right. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's okay. that's but um impressive. Elliot perks up and he says, "Oh, I I have a question. Um Silka, you, you have a funny little contraption on you. It's Oh, this. Oh. And he's pointing at your camera. 
And he goes, oh, wh- what do you do with that? Well, um, just a little hobby of mine, but, um, I'm searching for signs, you could say. Um, like, like, lover signs? Sign- I mean, you live you here, like, you this, can make your own signs. This little device, you see. <laughs> Does it, like, flash? Like, are we yeah. startled? <laughs> yeah, we all jump. It can capture moments in time. Look who you all are. And he and and Silco pulls out like a Polaroid. Yeah, of the, but of is it is it still pictures. black? Like, yeah, it's still developing. <laughs> what do you what do you I mean? mean we're all there. To wave it around a what little you, bit. What are you talking? about? I have my hand in my bag. <laughs> um, Elliot gets up and he goes, "No way, that's pretty cool. Did you make that yourself?" I did. I yes, I'm a tinker. It's my hobby. It um falls just short of my duties to protect the mansion and all of the beautiful, majestic. Artifacts that live within it. Oh dear. Um, I'm a tinkerer, and well, when it comes down to it, um, I fancy myself like I said, a crusader. Mm-hmm. Crusader. So, what have yes. you crusaded? Yeah, uh, there was a bat. <laughs> <laughs> well, recently there was a bat uh-huh. in the garage, but and I don't mean to alarm you, and especially you, Mister Quinton, because I mm-hmm. know that. You are older physically. I don't want to hurt your heart, but... I can take it. I b- okay. I believe something is inhabiting the house. A yeah, big, that would be us. A big bat? You- Before, it could be... I don't think that it's a bat. I think it's something much more sinister. Ooh. And as you say that, um, your wand of magical detection goes off. <laughs> <laughs> like it? <laughs> wow, that's not. Does it? Does it just have the Kill Bill siren? Is that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> um, okay, what's that? What? 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 <clears throat> what's that? Something's here with us right now. Oh dear! Are you here? Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Make an arcane check. Okay. Jeez. Um, nine at modified by what? Are they? So. 14. Okay. Um I will I will say that Silka you 100% believe something is in the house. <laughs> like it's not the same thing. <laughs> what do we see? But okay. yeah. You guys don't see anything. But Silka you uh, you could swear that you feel something in the house. There's a presence. Don't you feel it? The mozzarella sticks have gone cold. <laughs> <laughs> How could that be? The- the temperature is plummeted. Well, you, you know, he's right. Okay, for one thing, I am colder than I was a minute ago, and something <laughs> had to something had to make that thing go off. Uh. So he's <laughs> kind of creeping me out. I pull out my smorb, and on accident, I also pull out Wilfrey, okay. who has been in the bag this entire he time. He goes, hello! And so, Silka, you see this little tennis ball-sized... Um, Half robotic, half organic, like creature with one really, really big eye. My God! And he goes, "Hello, you're a, you're a new friend." Oh crap! And he yes, and he I starts am. walking over to the the table, and he's so tiny. Um, and he sticks out his hand, and he goes, "My name is Will Free. I've only existed for maybe two months." What a brilliant contraption! And I like seize him, and I like look to see where I can open him up to whoa, understand. Whoa, and he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Shut wait, up, you! Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we all just like go. Wait, no, go, go hurt him. <laughs> Listen, I, I I don't like him as much as you do. I don't think. But uh, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm a bit frazzled. To be honest, I, I'll put him back. I have thank you spoken with people in quite some time, Clearly. and so <laughs> um, if I seem aloof or if something seems out of place or I seem strange or uh, all paranoid or. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, strong smelling. The strong smelling wouldn't be true. I'm, I clean myself meticulously. Really, the only smell you smell is mozzarella. But oh, okay. And I put Will on the plate of the remaining mozzarella sticks. He's just pat his head. Okay. Um, very happily. But I, yeah, I have my s'more about as well. I was just trying to toss it around. Okay. I, I actually have something called detect magic. Would you like to cast that? Yes. Okay. So spend a spell slot and cast yeah, detect I magic. Because I'm only going to back you up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But so what what does happen, it you know, it takes about uh, 10 minutes. Um, what happens is you can sense, so in, in, a, in 30 feet around you, you sense anything that's magical. 
And since due to the abundance of different magic items that are in um, the the house, you do recognize that there is a magical presence here. I will have you make an arcane roll. So that would be just a six. Okay. Maybe you're not as worried as Sulka is about this magical presence, um, but you do detect magic mm-hmm. around the area. Mm-hmm. And the biggest part of where you detect magic mm-hmm. is you sense it all over Jack. Just completely over him. It's like a, it's like a, you know, like the heat cameras. It's like, yeah. yeah. If he, what you do, you need my help. Can I, can I roll for Arcana? I, I know, I know what she's looking at me for. I just you can roll also like, the, just like, like the tell. Because I didn't want to say anything, you know. To uh, hey, I got a twenty. Oh, of course you did. You, Jack, you pull out your your bag of holding and you go, yeah, this is a magical item. Yeah, you want to, <laughs> oh you want to look inside because there's even more. What a. Never oh, uh, mind. You know what? I actually haven't. So I put my head in my bag of holding. To oh, look, my goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know that you can do that. You Was experience that- cosmic horrors that you have never experienced <laughs> before. And the multitude of items that you own and things that you think you own. It is maybe one of the most scary experiences you have ever had in your life. Can they hear me screaming from inside the void? No. <laughs> Oh my god! So I just imagined that I'd I'd fallen off the chair as soon as oh I put the bag on. He's possessed. <laughs> I, I told you it's happening. It's real. It's real. Elliot walks over and he grabs the bag and he pulls it off of Jack's head. And he goes, no, I, no, I think I think he's okay. I think he's just kind of an idiot. Jack, Jack, oh, pilgrim, don't do that ever again. Like I said. There's a lot of magic in there. <laughs> um, I look at Will and I go, I don't know why you let me put you in there, but you're never going in there again. Okay. <laughs> Quentin says, you know, uh, these games have been kind of fun and all, um, but there, there's kind of a big reason I wanted everybody here. Oh, okay. um, is there real food? I mean, I'll go get the mozz- the box of mozzarella sticks. From, oh, I'll no. go. I'm sorry. This is really. I'll well, go put some in the oven. Well, well, wait, wait, wait. While while you know, let's find out what Quentin is. Up sorry, to. I didn't mean to do that in your own house. So no, it's fine. Um, and Quentin says. Look, I don't know any easy way of saying this, um, but I'm going to step down as a leader of the Departed Guardians. Oh. What? What? I'm, look, I mean, look at me. I'm gotten older. Asilka, you weren't there, but um, you knew my family. They kept a lot of secrets, and that secrets has kind of spilled over to me and how I've thought how this order should have gone. And I can't say that I've done a fantastic job. You guys have any points that everybody in the room have done a good job. I don't believe I have. And this is something that's been on my heart for a while. And, you know, with the loss of Gray, you know, I just. You guys got to be on tip top shape. And I just don't want to be slowing you down. As far as it, we go, um, I am going to reside in the mansion. Um, Astrid is actually going to stay with me. And so Astrid turns and she goes, Oh yeah. Um, Quentin has needed some help. I'm, you know, trained as a nurse in the medical field. So, um, I'm sort of the best to take care of him. I, I've never been good at all of this guardian stuff, all of this, um, fighting. Don't you know? And, you know, I do the best at taking care of people. I did a great job when I was raising Nix and you, Jack. Um, and so I just want to be here for however long Quentin's going to be alive. And he goes, no, I'm not going to die anytime soon. I'm old, but I'm not pretty old. Are you sure you've been jumping decades recently? In the- <laughs> I, it's pretty old. I think it's... You need some Rogaine? <laughs> <laughs> we have that yet? I still have my hair. <laughs> okay. um, he says... I just kind of want to lay out some of the stuff that I know. And then I want everybody here to decide on a new leader. Um, I vote Jack. (laughs) Uh, I don't have a vote. 
Um, well, no, actually, Silka, you do. I mean, you're you've been tied to the Guardians, and you know more about magic and what you call deep magic that we've been experiencing more than anyone here. So, um, no, I'd say that you do have a vote. Huh. Well, I did say it in haste. I'll retract for now. Th- think about it. Uh, I have a couple other things that may be pressing to Emmy and Jack. Dead for you, for that matter. Um, so, I've kept a lot of stuff from you guys about the Guardians and the history of it. So here it is. A long, long, long ago, um, the Wellforges, you know, showed up. Forces of magic that came from the Earth. As we now know, um, a lot of this magic spills from the core of No Wishing and goes through Nysen, the underground world that we all got trapped in for a little bit. Um, And it comes out here. Many times it comes in these big pockets and these big containers that um, we've experienced. They do different things, whether they raise the living and the dead, they can create elemental constructs out of people. They do things that have power. Uh, Many people and families were interested in the source of power, which caused war and conflict. And so three people, the original guardians, Stahl the Noble, Archimedes the Wise, and the one armed warrior who we've talked about, um, who we've never said her name. It's not been pressing. But her name is Luca Wilkin. She's Luca the Bright. And Silka, when you hear the name Wilkin, it rings with you. <gasps> Wilkin was the maiden name of your mother. That's my mother's maiden name. So, so you just, you, you say this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Quentin goes, uh, yeah. Kid, you're the descendant of one of the oldest guardians. And possible royal member of a galley family. Um, okay. I might have to use the rest <laughs> Um. Feel free to do so. I know it's a lot. I'll be right back. <laughs> are these tears of joy or is this frightened is this <laughs> I don't know I mean it's, it's a, a lot, lot of for him lot of nine people just yeah. walked into his life after months yeah. of none mm-hmm. and he only knew one of them um, and so, so I, I ask him so what does that mean so is he he just doesn't he is a guardian he just doesn't even know it well, and what about um, gauntlets well I mean by birthright he is a guardian Um, and I know my parents have a set lying around here. So if that's something Silco wanted to do and he wanted to become a part of the order, he most certainly has any right more than anybody here. Sure. I mean, gauntlets be gauntlets, but I, I was a little bit apprehensive at first. We did just meet the guy and, you know, I'm all for the Jack Pilgrim fan club, but like a lot of enthusiasm is usually a pretty bad sign. No. But no, I think he's just I, been I, lonely. I will Droopy say, goes, I don't know what you mean. It's it's a lot of big words, bud. Lots of big words. Okay. Just trust me on that. But no, I, gotta, I, I gotta say, I, I'm not getting too bad vibes. No, from I don't him. get any bad. He vibes. He seems like a very good guy. And then Edward um, perks up and he says, "Well, um, if we are down a couple people, especially right now with mm-hmm. Ophelia being gone, right? and and we just." Technically lost two people. Yeah, we always need more people. Yeah, yes, that's I, true. I, actually, I no, I, I, on the on contrary, I have had a good, good feeling about him. Um, so Silka, as you come back into the room, <laughs> that was a perfect time to go. <laughs> body, are you okay? Oh uh, yes. Do you need a hanky? Oh, um, I got hit by a couple in the bag. What is that even? <laughs> what is that even me? <laughs> um, I pull one out. Uh, it's yeah. covered in cosmic goo. <laughs> uh, see, that's the that's, that's the probably deal. my spit. Do you want to dry one? Oh, Let me no, find that's one. all right. Look, okay. I'm gonna level with you guys. Okay, um, I'm a bit of a um sham. Um, <laughs> well, look, I'm really not good at um. Uh, every th- most things hey there's like one thing that i'm really good at and it's sort of like um 
kind of academic, you could say. <laughs> I really don't know that I can assume some kind of crazy hierarchical mantle of power. It's very intimidating, I must say. I wanted to get it out there. Well, I'm going to tell you something, and it's this. I... I don't think about our guardian stuff as some sort of higher mantle of power. Yeah, I think it's just what, another just, way for us to protect the realm. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, that sounds nice. And it's, we've had to learn a lot of this on the go. I was just a girl, you know, and then uh, once, you know, after one uh, event after and, another. And you, you know, just, you just you're get, courageous and, and, right? and possibly heroic acts. Sure. Became a superhuman god legend. Yep, yeah, um, you know, over time. Over t- <laughs> <laughs> step by I step. mean, it's really cool to hear it like that, but yeah. I gotta say, I I don't see myself any higher than I do above or below you. We're we're all the same here. It's even cooler knowing that you're a guardian too. Quinn um, Quinn perks up and he says, "Yeah, Silka, you know, we we all appreciate your apprehensions." Okay. Um, it, it just shows that you're real, right? If, if you look right. at our group, we have a former treasure hunter. He points at Emmy. We have a former thief. He points at Jack. Uh, we got a child. We got two children. Okay. And yeah. Ixon, and Droopy go, hey. And Droopy goes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, we have a lizard woman who has no family other than the other people. Got okay. an old man. You got a priest. And he points at um, Edward Hilltopper. And he goes, and we have a former super villain, and he points at Elliot, and he goes, and then we have some talking little robot from another world. It's definitely a hodgepodge. Yes. I Absolutely. I will say, guys, I'm a ghost hunter, and I have always wanted to be a ghost hunter. Okay. Um, that's my ambition. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And um, I, my handy. life for years has been the confines of these vast walls. I have a strange emotional and psychological attachment to this place. Well, maybe it's time you leave it <laughs> and go outside. Yeah, well, I mean. It's possibly easier said than done, Amy. <laughs> oh <laughs> you know? dear. Anyway, so that's what I'm chewing on, you could say. We'll give it some thought. I mean, we'll be here for a while. And, um, and do I like, I mean, you know, I, do I get to, do I have to like do a special ritual? Is it going to be like I have to drink a chalice of blood? No, 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 no. no. To like kill somebody? No. And We've actually not killed body. anybody yet. So. Yeah, we're actually really good at. Oh, yeah, at, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> and then Droopy says. Uh, we forgot about uh the the wizard lady and um, a the 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 monster lady who I really like, and Quentin goes, yeah, yeah, that's the rest of our group. That being said, we could always use a ghost hunter. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> cool. You now, with that being said, um, with this order of the departed guardians, um. The three, Stahl, Archimedes, Luca, they traveled the world uh, protecting different well forges. Um, you know, and that's how we've slowly figured out that they've been to different areas. And this is years and years ago. But then we found out, um, not found out, then all the well forges were shut down, as was our original goal to shut down all the well forges so that it won't cause another Catastrophe, could magical catastrophe, and so Luca, your um, ancestor? ancestor. I don't know how the family line goes, but Silka uh, uh, like shivers. <laughs> um, she was the one to do that, and to, wow. and it killed her um, because a lot of this magical energy, you know, we protect it. We do a good job of saving people, but it does take sacrifice sometimes. Um, afterwards, Archimedes and Stahl met with the Stonecutters and the Short Marshes, my family, and um, another important family in the Departed Guardian line. The Short Marshes being my family. Um, and they were all well-seasoned treasure hunters. I mean, I'm sure you can appreciate that. And then he said, well, my parents, Robert and Taylor, took it upon themselves to make an organization out of it. Based on their teachings, the true Departed Guardians were born, which is all of us now. Um... Silka, I'm sure that you were more than aware, but when 
a uh, guardian dies, they have the choice of passing on or staying within people's gauntlets. So actually one of the guardians, Archimedes is Emmy's mentor. Wait, I hadn't even, I can become a secret magical artifact. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Yes. Uh, I'm in. Oh, uh, okay. all right. Where do I start? Where's the child? Where's the chalice? There's no, there's no, no child. Chalice. There's, it's ga- gaunt, gauntlets, gauntlets that you put on. Chal- chalice. Oh, chal- okay. And, and they're actually here in him? this castle. And- Trent, have you seen them? Yes, of course. I, have. <laughs> That's oh, it. I asked him about the gauntlets. Well, Quentin says, well, you know, I can show you where yours are right now. And he takes off his own. And then he slides them across the table to you. Oh, and he goes, oh no. He goes, I, I couldn't think of anybody else that I would want the, gar- the gauntlets to be passed down to. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, (laughs) I've never um, wanted to live on in the gauntlets I don't have there's nobody living in those currently there's no mentor so they are perfect for you Silka oh my god if you clash them together you can turn into a griffin but um, oh yeah Oh yeah! Baby. Oh, I thought that was your own power. Was... Well, you can change it eventually, but right now the default setting turned is turned into a bat. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay. Um. See, see, we, you know, that that's very handy because you can fly and people can ride like me can ride on you. We've I, done this already. Oh, it's. But if I were a bat, I could go hide places and watch things from the dark. That is true. I do that, and I'm not a bat. Okay, well, we can't all Would be bats. <laughs> we can't all Would be bats. Goes, but you can do it and be a bat. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you, Droopy. Fist pound. And he fist pounds yeah. you. Um, and so uh, Quentin says, you know, that's really all I got. Um, there's been other stuff that, you know, I've kept secret from you guys, but that's come up naturally. I don't know what's going on with how Stahl and Orion and... Everything involving him and the calling hornets, these orcs. I just know that I trust you all in this room, and I'm I'm just not easily swayed by sort of this ruler. Um, but we can all get that to another day. I'm getting a little tired, but I do want to say I think we should pick who who the leader is. Like right, like right, like right now. I mean, it's. Maybe we should um, discuss, you know, not like not to say, oh, no, not not Jack. But I when you said that initially, um, one thought I had was actually Edward. And Edward looks and he goes, oh, um, sure. I mean, I'm no official guardian. I'm an advisor, but I, I mean, I have expertise in contacts. I don't know if I would make a great leader. Um, Quentin would. Would the leader have to have gauntlets? I mean, not necessarily. And would the leader have to be a guardian? Not necessarily. Um, I mean, of the organization. Yeah, because it's based off of the old rules. Yeah, I would. I would say that would have to be the case. But I don't want you guys to do what I did, what my family did. I want you guys to create something new. Hmm. Um, and so far, what you guys have been doing has been good. The way you all handle things is the best way that I think the guardians need to go. And that was no more apparent than when we were in Nyson. If it wasn't for you guys, if it wasn't for your friends, we would have never made it out of there. We are pretty unique. (laughs) So you were going to say something? I would like to vote for Droopy. (laughs) (laughs) And then Astrid. Uh, Actually, actually, he is what's called, you don't know this, but he was called the pure of heart. Astrid says, well, honestly, that's actually my vote too. (laughs) And Drew goes, what? No. No, I just really think that he's a great leader. <laughs> uh, well, Asher says, um, I do have legitimately in that in my notes. She says he is the, he is the pure of heart. He always has the best intentions for everyone. He doesn't have an evil bone in his body. True. 
And then Droopy, Droopy's just sweating. He doesn't yeah, know yeah. what to do. So, Quentin, what does it entail? Well, I mean, <laughs> that's a good question. Like, though. is there is there some sort of like, are there documents that we pass by, or is this just sort of a title? Like, what's? I mean, it's a title. It's also just when someone's looking to be in charge, when they're so- looking for someone for guidance. Not that anybody you can't do that on their own, but it always helps just to have someone at the focal point of all of that. Um, or, you know, maybe we're a group that doesn't even need a leader and we just kind of work on our own volition. Mm. I mean, Mm. I, I don't think we need a leader per se, but it would be pretty cool to have somebody there who has sort of a really good word on what to do next when it comes to just about everything a vision Mm -hmm. exactly that's the perfect word i'd actually use and Mm. honestly you don't know it silka but you've been talking up droopy quite a lot droopy i don't want you to worry or anything i'm not trying to say you should be the president that's there's a lot of pressure i'm gonna be a president no 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 no. that's what i'm trying to not say no no president here we go uh, (laughs) no no all right hand on his shoulder Current Kneeling. age, 20 it's a, something. It's a Spider-Man moment. Look, kid. Oh, I, I think that if we have somebody as a vocal point, a sort of visionary that kind of has all of our intentions to heart, our, our truest guardian intentions to heart, it should definitely be somebody like Droopy. Who so you, you weren't there, but I... I watched, and this is not something I've really seen often. I've been through quite a lot, and not just with everybody in the room, but on my own. There's a lot of dark I've seen, and not darkness, darkness. I mean, just just dark, just you underworld. Were in the dark, and you couldn't see, <laughs> like child slavery. Oh, type of dark. And it is uh, actually true. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Oh, uh, jeez. There's a lot of dark I've seen, and in. A single moment upon his appearance, mm-hmm. not only did he save all of our lives yep. through talking. That is true. But he managed to change. He, he managed to capture the attention of an entire room mm-hmm. and make them see why it was so dumb to be bad. Yeah. And so smart to be good. Yep. And I definitely think that, you know, Droopy not talking you down, but... I, I don't I don't think that he should be giving us like the go ahead for operations and stuff. Quentin, you're definitely right. I don't think we need a leader in that regard, but we should definitely have somebody who we go to and say, Hey, do you think this action is the best one? And pass it through him. And I think that should be droopy. I don't know what mm. we would call that. I don't know what title we would call that, but yeah. Have Kid him president. and have Edward help him out. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, president. Edward, you're my vice president. And Edward goes. <laughs> I mean, you make a lot of sound advice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Although I was there, you're right. That moment when he, you know, calmed everybody and said, no, and I'll be your friend and let's go. And Yeah, I couldn't it. tell if I, I was having an aneurysm because I don't know if I, yeah. I honestly don't know if I've recovered from that. I could right. still be dead in that room. Yeah. I just don't believe that happened, but it did. It did. We're it all did. still here yeah. to, have meet, to have met you, Silka. Yes, I sh- can assure you that this is the plane on which we're all living, that you're very alive. I've made very sure of it. <laughs> What? Thanks. <laughs> I, but yeah. Right. So good. I would Can't. like to defer my vote since I haven't been through this with you guys. Uh, I'll defer it to your better judgment. Um, and then Quentin says, um, I mean, I think we're all in a solid agreement. Um, Ophelia did the same thing, too, not to leave her out. Um, but I did talk to her before we left. So uh, she didn't particularly care as long as we move forward she knew you guys would pick the best decision okay well i mean we're all making decisions together anyway droopy yep what do you think i mean kid president i mean i like the word kid president that's fantastic um yeah i'm not so good on on missions i mean i'm good on missions i can do missions well oh yeah um yeah i mean i like talking to people and i like beating bad guys beating evil guys Oh, uh, sure. And given that you're the youngest, um, really, you'll be around for a long time. Kid president. Kid president. Oh, kid two kid president. Up. Kid president. F- forever. Kid president. Forever. Kid president. Forever. Um, so, yeah, as the conversation goes, um, Nix has been just kind of quiet 
kind of watching it, um, you can tell that she's a little agitated by uh, all the praise that Droopy's getting. Um, but she turns and tells Quentin, like, yeah, so, like, you're just going to completely step down? Like, you're not going to do anything? And he said, uh, Quentin says to Nix, like, yeah, no, I, I want this to be off of me. Not in a, like, it's a burden or any sense. I just want you guys to move forward. Nix goes, all right. Okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to head to my room. She walks off. And with that, um, the night kind of comes to a wall. Uh, it gets kind of late. I don't know if you guys stay up, chat, go to sleep. I'll be up all night. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Um, and me and Will Free hang out with Soka. Okay. Hey. There'll be some coffee brewing if any of you need it. <laughs> no, I want to go um, sleep. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, Soka, you make your rounds and with Jack tagging along, along with Will Free, everybody else has kind of gone off to bed. Silka, make a perception roll. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's 18. You have an 18. Okay. 18. As you were making your rounds um, with Jack, getting to know him just a little bit more, you notice that there are a sum of the items on the walls missing. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. No. Wait, how could this be? I, they were just there before, before you came in. Oh. And the items that are missing are the spell guard shield, the rod of absorption, and the animated shield, the one that you cleaned. I was cleaning it just a moment ago. How- Those are the ones that you notice that are gone. Okay. Emmy, we'll cut to you. You've been sleeping somewhat soundly yeah. um, in your bed. Um, make a wisdom saving throw. So a saving throw happens when some... Six. A saving Gross. throw... 17. Okay, a saving throw happens when something dangerous is happening. Oh, dear. So, Emmy, you wake up because you get a sense that there's someone in your room. Ah! And when you look, you see a large imposing force going through your stuff in your room. And when he turns and you see his face, you see Nicholas Stormborn. Oh, no way. What do you do? Uh, No, that, that holding thing. Hold, oh. hold person. person paralyzes him. Okay, so you cast hold person. What's? Give me a second. The I, target must succeed a wisdom saving throw. So uh, I have to beat a fourteen. So Emmy, as you you put up your hand to hold Nicholas, um, just a magical force repels your hand back, and you turn and you look. Um, make a perception check. Wait, a force like pulls her back? It, like push, from behind it, her? it pushes her back. So her hand oh. goes back from like the magical blast that she okay. was going to use. I got you. Whoa. Okay, uh, 18. Dang. You look and you realize that's not Nicholas Stormborn. You see. So it's like a little dobbler. Doppelganger. Doppelganger? Doppler. No. <laughs> it's, it is not a doppelganger. Okay. Um, but as you can see, this man who clearly tells that you're terrified just this wide smile comes across his face um and he starts taking a step out of your room and hits your door open and just completely obliterates like smashes it and then he runs and as you see on his back completely tied up and knocked out is nix oh and so he's gone he he bolts out of the the hallway okay so um i i hit my call clasp and I just start screaming into my call clasp and everybody who, uh, asleep or not, mm-hmm. hear, you know, me. Do I, we hear the door? Jack, so you hear a loud smash and splintering of wood. Um, you are with Silka and Will Free, but you you can tell that you're not close to it, but not far away from it. And so you just hear uh, me st- smash, it- scream, and then you're hearing the pounding of boots just and I'm like bolting so, and, and through the through the uh, corridors. Yes. Okay. Somebody is in the house and it's got Nix, right? Yep. Nix, y'all get up. Somebody. Oh, I, I I I start running. Okay. okay. So you start running towards the noise. And am I upstairs? Uh, yeah, I would say you are. Um, okay. Jack, make a perception roll. 
Silka, do you follow <laughs> after um, oh, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you say perception. Yeah. Um, I got 17. Okay. You start going around. You're, you're looking different ways of where this noise could be coming from. And as soon as I, I see anything, if that comes up, I'm casting Hunter's Mark. Okay. So you do. You, you see... Um, a figure just dart out of the way um, with Nyx strapped to his back and you see um, the little um, piece of the animated shield that Silka was cleaning earlier um, on his person along with another big shield. So these items that are missing, this guy is taking. Do I see where he's heading? Um, He's on like an upper, uh, like, area above you um you can you can tell he's trying to get away but you don't know exactly where he's going uh, does me, it look like he's trying to leave like the building or does it look like he's trying to hide in the building it looks like he's trying to leave the building but not yet oh okay Ooh, all right i'm gonna see hunter's mark of what that does is you can choose a range a creature you see within range and magically mark it with your quarry until the spell ends which is up to one hour you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target uh, if you hit it with a weapon attack and you have advantage on any wisdom or survival or perception or survival checks you make on it. Okay. Okay. That's, that's advantageous. Oh, okay. So should I just roll to try to figure out like what it's trying to do specifically? Um, no. It, well, if you do, if you do a wisdom survival roll, you'll be able to, um, like know where it's going Oh, okay. or where he's going. I should say. Okay. Um, now could I have taken chase after him? Yes, okay. you, you're you still far behind. You okay. have tiny little legs. I pulled this, it's true. Um, so Tristan, if you want to make a survival check, you can, and you have advantage, so you roll twice. Okay. Um, Silco, what do you do? Okay, so I have this spell called Long Strider, and I was wondering if you could tell me what that does. I think I have an idea of what it does. Um, so Long Strider, you, um, I think you gain like double your speed. Cool. For Excellent. like ten minutes, it's that, or you can cast that on somebody else. Yeah, so it's it's like a touch thing. So like presumably, as an art, as an artificer, you like enchant things, I guess. Right? Yeah. So yeah, you yeah you enchant um, or have little devices that you use to use to cast spells. Right. Um. So yeah, you would either tat, touch like your boots or something. Yeah, I was gonna boots. say, can I like grab my my uh my my sneaks or my boots? Mm-hmm. Um. So you you will gain an increase of ten feet. So, like, you can run 30 feet right now. Yeah, You'll be able to run 40, 40 feet in six seconds. In so. six seconds. Yeah. Okay. So, he should be able to catch him. Dash mode. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Flash. We'll call him the Flash. Nobody's my mansion. I mean, I just got five, so I guess I just know what you know. Yeah. I, you you know he's but still in the building. Me. Yeah. And you can sense that he's on the upper floor. I'll give you that. Okay. Um. Hey, we got Speedy over here. Yeah, Silka, you you burn a spell slot and you slap your shoes and you are ready to long stride. Do I know what part of the upper floor, like if we were to put it on a compass? Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, you have like a slight little radar on okay. him. I let, I let um, Silka know since he knows his own mansion mm-hmm. and um, I let him know where I can see him and I keep him on my call clasp. So we're like communicating. I'll find you. <laughs> you can't escape. I also have detect magic. And so would I be able to f- find him better with well, that I or mean, not really? I don't think so because the whole house is full of yeah, that. Oh, it, right, that right. would, that anything, would be the only thing. Yeah, if anything, it would be horrible. Uh, so be, Silka, you are in pursuit. Uh, hot, make Hot pursuit. Hot pursuit. Make a, make a wisdom check. Wisdom. Or like survival with him, survival. Just D twenty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and I know that while he's doing this, I want to, I want to be a little strategic. Mm-hmm. He's being very loud about this, so I know that wherever he's going to head to, like whatever it is, is going to keep away from him. So what I want to try doing is like cut him off. Okay. So I don't know if he needed me to roll for um roll stealth. Okay. Like a true. Rogue. Yeah, because. I, I figured this would be stealth because it's like a, I don't know, one of my own like features or traits. Uh, but then I also have this like this this new amulet on mm-hmm. um, and it says I'm hidden from divination magic. I can't be targeted by such magic or perceived through magic scrying sensors. So I just I don't know what this thing is, but I know that 
I'm really good at not being seen, and I'm especially not being seen right now. Sure. Have advantage so. on your stealth roll. All right, cool. Hey, hey. <laughs> the boys That's back. a 24. There you go. My okay. guy. Wow. So, yeah, um, Jack, mm. you know where he's going. You are helping Silka, and you are ready to flank him. Um, Silka, what was your roll? 18, baby. All right. You know this mansion very well, and you are like in... The back of my hand. Also, I slap my goggles on just in case. Okay, yeah, and you can see um, 60 feet in front of you. Um, I'll get those glasses on. Yeah, putting mm. the gunners on. The, yeah. gu- the gunner gamer glasses. <laughs> um, Emmy. Yes. What would you like to do? Well, I also have um, protection from energy, just in case. Yo. He's like, he tries to throw something at me again. Um, but, um, I, you know, sounds like you're the farthest. Yes. I guess I'm still going. Would you be able to aim for like Nyx or something? If you wanted to use it on her or something? I don't know. I I don't think, I think you'd have to touch her. And Um, is she like passed out? Yes. As from what you can see, she's completely unconscious. Um, make a survival check because you're trying to track where this person went as well. Six, 18. Okay. Um, with, all of your plans and set Emmy, you are booking it faster than you ever have before. And you run into Silka. So the two of you, oh, um, oh. like, like, yeah, you guys, uh, I mean, he's a little bit ahead of you, um, but you guys are able to also have steps of brave, which is fly. And it is twilight. It is okay. Twilight. Yeah. Um, is it twilight? Wait, or is it night? Oh, it's night now. No, no, it must be night because uh, I was asleep. You can, yeah. you can still, you can still do it because you have to just be in dim light. Um, so with all of that, you guys, the two of you, are able to um, go into one of the weapon rooms that I was talking about before. Mm-hmm. And so, um, Silka, you just run in and kick the door open, and um, you enter this room full of a bunch of different magical items. You see this figure standing and putting more of these items like into um, a bag of holding that you can tell is not his own, that he has also stolen. There is a stained glass window behind him with which um, Jack is subtly climbing up. Okay. They have him like he's in front of the stained glass window. I'm climbing it and they have him like cornered against the window. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, Let me describe this figure once again. Um, it is a large, very, very muscular humanoid. Uh, there is armor adorning their body, or his body, I should say, uh, completely, and this armor is very tight-fitting. The only part that doesn't have armor is where his helmet would be, because his helm is to his side, and it's this large, flame-like helm. Um, and Emmy, who you see your fi- his face there, is Nicholas Stormborn. Silka... What is Silka's greatest fear? <laughs> oh, that's a really good one. Um, is it bats? Um, is, so, uh, do you mean like do you want like a uh, do you want like a personal deepest darkest like serious fear or do you want like a like a kind of it petrifies him sort of like pho- like phobia? Maybe a phobia. It could be both. My I had one in mind, but I would like to hear what. It- Oh, I was gonna say that the phobia would be would be bats most likely. Okay, yeah, because I he think. see he knows that one of the 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 hardest you know one of our hardest foes was Nicholas Stormborn, who is this uh, very intimidating, very human intimidating, and we and I know that he got out. Uh, you know, they, he's been released and stuff. So for me to see him would probably be terrifying. Yeah. Okay, so so I see. so Silka, when you see this man, um, you just see this very elongated gross horrific oh no like almost rotting flesh bat oh God. no and as <laughs> as you're looking with the goggles um, are you slowly taking the goggles off <laughs> jurassic park style oh my god <laughs> um he's just there and he can tell that he's getting under your skin and you just start smiling <laughs> oh no um and as silka and emmy you see your two fierce face you see the smile just become unnaturally large oh my god like a cheshire cat like a cheshire cat but it's like it should not be on a human um or a bat for that matter um tristan you are out of sight and out of mind behind um the stained glass glass yeah so i'm thinking like the two of them are here 
Okay, there's ver visuals for us. Two of them are here. The the creature is there, and this is the Same window, glass, and yes. I am above. Oh, above. Okay, because yeah, I'm climbed the window, right? Is that what yeah. you said? Yeah, I mean, okay. that works. Yeah. So you from the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you okay. are um about ten feet up from from all of it. Yeah. Cool. So I don't actually see the face of what could be my greatest fear or whatever. You don't. Cool. Nice. So. I take a trick from my book, and it's a new trick, and I'm very excited to try it. Oh, yeah. I misunderstood. I thought you oh, were no, on. No. I thought you were on the other. You're on the other side. Of I'm the on the other side of the yeah. outside. Oh, climbing up. Yeah. Okay. I cool. thought you were outside. You can you can push part of the stained glass window open so you oh. can enter in. Okay. Yeah. Then okay. I'll, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Smash I thought it. I thought you said I was climbing in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. But yeah. So what I want to do is is flip out. In front of the thing, right? But instead of like, you know, ending up in front of it, do I still have my bag of holding or is that my bag of holding that it has? Uh, no, it is not yours. You, yeah, you have your own. Okay. Cool. So I open that baby up and I try my damn best to aim for its head and, and, and put my bag over its head. Okay. Hey. Make a dexterity saving throw. That's yes. meta. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um I got an eighteen. Got okay. An 18. I got an eighteen. Um <laughs> Yeah, so you jump off uh, this window. Uh Silka and Emmy, you just look up as you see um in the night silhouetted uh the bat. You see <laughs> you see the real bat. You see the Master real pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> um and he jumps down and as he does, um the the armored man turns and looks up and Jack just slaps on Dunk this him. this big um uh bag over his head and Jack you fall back on your feet and do kind of a, a roll like we would do in a rock climbing cool and so you stand back and you are all ready and um yeah I, I I've readied my recall blade and my crossbow and um the armored man is just standing there as you feel seemingly unaffected oh shit oh. um now as soon as he covers his face do we no longer see nick and um the bat and the bat yeah okay good yeah. um because we both go oh his brain's covered in cosmic goo <laughs> that's from from the bag like the tissues and but then as he's just standing there he pulls out a small magic wand um Silka, you recognize that this is a wand of fireball, which I believe is a real thing. Watch out. It's a wand of which is real. <laughs> I'm certain that's what it is. You you see him whip out this wand and just turn, still facing you with the bag over his head, and he points it at Silka and Emmy. Oh. Um So does he still not know I'm there? He's looking at you. Oh, I just happen to be in front of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, and his arm is waving just slightly, and then he casts a volley of fireballs. Can, can I do my bubble real quick? I think so. Um, yeah, you have like a Twilight Sanctuary. Oh, let me look up. Unearthed Arcana. Um, so the Twilight Sanctuary works a little bit different than the way we're intending it. I don't care. It's good for story. So, um... Yeah. Now, you Halo Three Bubble Shield. But uh, can I do? Do I only just get me and 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 Silka or no? It it has it has up to a thirty foot radius. Oh, so I get. So a, yeah, you, I can get him too. You grab Jack by his cloak and pull him back. Perfect. You pop out this this bubble, and this little dome goes across that's just big enough to cover all of you. As the fireballs are just spewing from the wand. Um, and they're spraying all over um, the area, all across this room, catching this room completely on fire. Because oh. um, <laughs> he's so, I, I, he doesn't see battle very often. So. <laughs> and <laughs> um, then w with all of that, knowing that its attack didn't make it, um, it drops the magic wand and pulls off the bag of holding and throws it to the ground, covered in celestial goo. Um, oh god and clearly <laughs> and clearly upset it locks eyes or he locks eyes with jack jack this is what i think you would see you see a decomposing skeleton 
face of gray orange. That's what I was thinking. Mm. That's exactly So the what whole Iron Man Marvel zombie like mm. that is mm-hmm. um that is gray. Um and unlike with the other two, he is not smiling at this moment. He is clearly mad and he pulls up a little tiny device and clicks it and the mansion explodes. Thanks for listening to Forsyth Fantasy Hour, a podcast created by Scott D. Forsyth, hosted by Tristan Lagan, Vicky Forsyth, and Scott D. Forsyth, with Ben Looper. Intro and outro theme composed and performed by Popski, with additional music and sound effects provided by Audioblocks. Until the next episode, stay safe, adventurers. <laughs>